Hello, gorgeous people, and welcome to another TV Central one-on-one podcast. I'm Aaron Ryan. This is episode 40, 2023. What a season of Lego Masters. With the best of the best back for Grand Masters, it was extraordinary build after extraordinary build. Now, I'm not overly modest, so I'll say it. Only two episodes in, I picked the winners. Scott and Owen have such amazing talent and their ability to take extraordinary to just plain what the is unbelievable. Scott and Owen are here with me today at TV Central. Guys, welcome and super duper congratulations. Good morning. Thanks very Good much. Morning. Yeah, thanks for having us. Howdy ho. Wow. Now, the audience are not silly. We know episodes are filmed in advance, um, like shows like MasterChef, like Lego Masters, they film alternate endings. So you guys didn't know who won until just a few hours before the rest of Australia, right? So you're just watching along with Australia. We get to ride the wave, same as everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, I do understand there's, you know, there has to be a bit of modesty just out of respect of the other contestants because their builds were crazy good as well. However, that Titan with the city on the head was just something basically ridiculously next level crazy. Um, the 200 that came in were just gobsmacked. Surely you guys were quietly confident. I think the, the, like what pushed us was the respect for the other teams in the room. We knew that everyone was on their A game. Everyone was like at the peak of it. Obviously, we've been building like nuts. Everyone's delivering their best. And that's kind of what pushed us. Ultimately, for us, this was a big risk. We weren't sure it was going to pay off. There was lots of unknowns. You can't practice something like this. So, um, yeah, we just put all eggs in one basket. And thankfully, it, it all paid off for us. So it could very well have gone the other way. And you could be chatting to two idiots that just smashed their final chance on Lego Masters. But, <laughs> um, at the end of the day, it came up trumps. So, yeah, really pleased. I, I must admit, I um I chucked a Brickman last night and was crying. I think it's because you guys share this extraordinary passion for Lego and, 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 and the show. And I think you, you didn't need to do what you did to win. I mean, Titan, the Titan idea, to be honest, was fought with danger, just sheer size issues, complications, possibly too grand to pull off. Um, and you definitely could have pegged it back a bit and still won. But you guys just went, I'd rather produce something out of this world or, or basically nothing at all um, and really put a risk winning. Um, it's an emotional journey for the audience as well. Was there no option, just go extraordinary big or go home? Um, I think there always was an option to kind of tone it down a bit, but that's not very uh, Scott and Owen. So we're either going to give it everything we got and hold nothing back or we're going to die trying kind of thing. So I think the Titan really embodied us as builders. Yeah. Um, e every element of the Titan was perfect. Um, every piece had a, had a place, every character had a role, um, even the one on the toilet. <laughs> um, <laughs> how, how difficult was it to work uh, all of the elements? I mean, you were looking at size, but then you had to think at story, everything within that time. Was it, was it difficult to work every element for this build? I think the difference between this build and the other builds is that we could plan this one in advance. So, I mean, obviously you don't see it on screen, but we when you, I think all of the top five teams, by that point in the competition, you have to take it seriously. If you're not planning by the time you're in top five, if you get there and you haven't planned, you're going to be behind. So when we talk about like planning all the elements, there's absolutely stuff that changes on the fly, but we had a lot of time to put in the hours and test some things and think of story ideas and add to the, add to the build. So it wasn't necessarily that we had to come up with it all in that 28 hours, thankfully. Yeah, so... So, so talk me through that. So there would have been some planning, but then like at the start, you were so nervous, like maybe that we've gone too big. Th this is not going to be come off. I mean, but you would have had some planning. So wh why were you still super nervous? Oh, well, I think just the unknowns, like you can test it and you can plan it as much as you want. But then when it push comes to shove and you've got that 28 hours behind you on the clock and it's really pushing you, you you got to kind of like, just put it all on the table, but yep, you know what? We're going to do it no matter what, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to stick to this, and if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So you kind of just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's it's the story of like there's one there's one basket, and we had the opposite problem with the bees. We didn't go hard enough. Um, but once you've committed to a scale, I mean, you either bite off more than you can chew, or or you get it right, perfect, and you've just got enough time to finish it. So that's the big unknown. We weren't sure how big we could go in the time, really. Mm. 
look, you would have watched the the, the finale, obviously. Um, d- did you see Brickman's face and some of the other contestants, especially when you were putting <laughs> putting the city on top of the head? They they kind of looked in disbelief, like you know. I'm sure they thought mm, th- this ain't going to happen. Like it, it, it's actually too crazy. They just w- they, they were stunned, and I find that extraordinary in itself because this isn't just the audience. I mean, these are professional like brick builders, and I I really think their face looked like this. This ain't going to happen. Is that what you saw when you watched the finale? They their reactions. Yeah, well, we didn't actually see it on the day because we're too busy stressing out. That's going to fall over. So, <laughs> so our faces would be about the same. Yeah. <laughs> We were a bit in disbelief as well. Well, I know I was. I was like, oh, man, this is going to – we need, like, one more point of contact. But no, I was like, no, nah, we can do it with two. I'm like, okay, I'm with you, man. Let's do it. Um, but When uh, Brickman was judging some of, some of the others, I mean, I know that you guys would have been, you know, somewhat confident with the Titan. But then when Brickman was starting to say things like, Alex and Caleb, this is your best build ever, um, then obviously hugely positive comments for, for Joss and Henry – did the nerves kick in a little bit and think, wow, like this this really is big talent all round? Um, I guess we kind of knew that there was big talent all round. Yeah. I think everybody in that room built the best build they can ever build or the best their best build yet. So Yeah, I guess if we didn't win on this, then we know that we gave it our all and we're pretty humble to go home on that kind of thing. Yeah, content in the fact that we definitely didn't leave anything on the table. Yeah. 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 So what was your favourite moment um, in Grand Masters outside, of course, the, the, the final build and, and the win? Carpet Brickman. Yeah. <laughs> the Carpet Brickman was pretty good. Loved the Carpet Brickman. Yeah. So. <laughs> we had a few of them this season. Yeah. Proven Brickman wrong. That's got to be the highlights. <laughs> and I guess just pushing ourselves creatively mm-hmm. and to our limits, like every build. Like as, as much as we could, we try not to hold back the whole build, every build. Mm. So... A bit of a slow, I'm a bit slow getting going. Owen's obviously straight to level 10 and stays at level 10 the whole build. But once you get the ball rolling, I, I think we get a good bit of flow going, good flow state and just good vibes. Try and have a good bit of fun while we're doing it as well. Well, there definitely was some fun in that final episode. Um, Lego Ma- Masters, Grand Masters is the equivalent of like the NFL Super Bowl and no Super Bowl is right without a great halftime show. Um, <laughs> yeah. How did you find that halftime show? Hamish put on a, a great performance, didn't he? I was really hoping that wouldn't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> it was embarrassing dad thing down eight days in. <laughs> <laughs> um. Look, Lego Masters is still popular, so I'm, I'm sure um, they'll do another Grand Masters in the, in the future. Would you guys like to come back for Grand Masters of, of Grand Masters and, and try Grand to top Grand all Masters. of that? Yeah. Uh, if they want us back. Yeah. Like, you never say no, do you? Yeah, no. Absolutely yeah, not. Like that. Third in once in a lifetime opportunity. We'd take it. Absolutely. <laughs> In the um, last podcast that we did, um, we just had an update on on Bubs, um, uh, Owen, and it was going to happen at any time. Did it happen? Yeah. Uh, little Olive Grace is at home with mum. She's eight days old, adorable as heck. Love it a bit. Oh. Yeah. Couldn't be happier. Mum and Bub are happy and healthy. So, yeah, over the moon. Oh, beautiful. All right. So... Everyone always asks this question, but 100 grand, what's the plan? I'm, I'm pretty sure with a new baby coming, uh, Owen, that's probably just a <laughs> – that'll go in a few months. Yeah, that's a drop of water in the ocean. Scotty's got to be more of a solid plan for his, though. Yeah, so I've been looking at buying houses and stuff, you know, being a responsible adult finally. But then I was thinking about it, like, you know what? I'm not 30 yet. Let's double down. Just. Let's make a, a 20-year-old mistake. I'm going to buy a Land Cruiser. I got a 2006 Toyota Sahara Land Cruiser. I got my eye on. I don't know where to find one because it's not available in Australia. But when I do find it, I've got about 40 grand I'm willing to spend on it because I want 10 grand worth of accessories. So that's not too bad. When you said double down, I thought you were going to be off to the casino and trying to. <laughs> don't tempt me. It has crossed my mind. I was like, what are the chances I could just put like it all on red and it all pay off, and then buy a Land Cruiser and the house? You are a terrible financial person. <laughs> My, I, 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 I do not endorse this. Oh. Red's a good plan. Uh, red's the color of love. You know, that's the. Yeah, I'm no, 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 I'm not suggesting that at all. Little boy, land on green, man. <laughs> <laughs> takes it off. 
So what's next for you guys? Um, I mean, Owen, obviously with, with a baby, is it, is it just back to work? You know, what, what's the plans? Yeah, a little bit in flux. Um, we're not closing any doors, keeping options open. Um, yeah, we, we haven't got anything particular in the pipeline, but yeah, yeah, open to any and all opportunities. Um, exploring a couple of things on the side, but nothing, nothing firm yet. So yeah, hopefully onwards and upwards. But for now, being a dad is priori- priority numero uno. Okay. Well, if you ever want to be podcasters, you're certainly welcome to join TV Central. That could be part of your next. Uh, <laughs> um, good. How how will um, Lego be um, part of your lives uh, moving on? Will there still be some Lego nights? Will uh, the new girl Olive be allowed in the Lego room? I think it'll be a while until she's allowed in the Lego room, but she's got her first couple of Duplo sets already. So we'll have to we'll have to blood her young on, <laughs> on the Duplo. Um, yeah, looking forward to being able to do some collabs in the years to come with the daughter. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe one day we'll do a father-daughter team on Lego Masters. Yeah, man. For sure. But with you guys, do you, is Lego still part of your life? Are you, do you still have, I don't know, nights of doing or not so much anymore? I think I uh, broke, Scotty. Yeah, I'm a bit yeah, traumatised from the whole Lego thing. But yeah, I actually finished a set yesterday, the day of the grand final uh, for Owen. When yeah. we first went on Lego Masters, he gave me one of his sets to practice with, and it's taken about three years to build it, but I finally gave it to him yesterday. So I oh. touched it, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool, but yeah, I'm still getting like flashbacks, like the old Vietnam flashback kind of thing. <laughs> so just kind of stand away for a little bit, more, invest more into other hobbies for a little bit. And, Detox. Detox. Do a bit of travel, a bit of holidays, get his Land Cruiser and just be smiling mm. behind the wheel of this big boy. I'm still building though. Can't give up the brick that easy. <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right, Scott Nolan, absolute deserve winners, no doubt. Um, that was an epic final build. Um, thank you for not only your big builds, but the entertainment and, and watching you you guys, <laughs> the bromance on screen. It's a beautiful thing. Um, <laughs> congratulations and, and thank you for joining me. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. All right. Thank, that was uh, Scott and Owen, winners of Lego Masters, Grand Masters, um, that you can continue to watch on Nine now. Well, from Lego Masters, we turn to the summit on Nine, and there will be a podcast with one of the contestants this week. That's it for this podcast. For all the latest news, streaming info, guides, and, and podcasts, head to tvcentral.com.au. Until next time, thanks and congratulations to Scott and Owen, and um, happy days with Olive. I'm Aaron Ryan. Bye for now.